Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick tip for working with RGB LEDs, or really any any type of LED, even single color LEDs. So, uh, you know, chances are someday you'll want to make a display using LEDs where either the LED shines light onto something like a wall or the ceiling, or maybe even your display is when you actually stare at the LEDs themselves, like an LED cube. Um, you know, you can buy LEDs with diffused lenses uh, to evenly distribute the light because remember, RGB LEDs contain three LEDs within them. So to see the mixed light from the three red, green, blue LEDs, you need to diffuse that light. So I've used a million different materials for this sort of thing, but nothing comes close to what I have here. These are simply ping pong balls with little slits cut in them to fit the LEDs. And uh, you've probably heard about this sort of thing, but it's amazing how well it actually works. So the light is evenly distributed, which is good. And more importantly, is the light doesn't lose a lot of its intensity. So uh, it's pretty cool. Let's, let's take a closer look here. So check this out. Uh, what we have here is the ultimate Arduino prototype board that I talked about in a few videos back with about eight RGB LEDs controlled by two TLC 5940s. And I've got a whole tutorial on that chip as well. And, uh, you know, I was working with this board and I didn't have these ping pong balls on the LEDs yet. And I was trying to make like a, a board where I could shine light behind my computer and kind of have a cool like, you know, glowing effect that sweeps back and forth. Um, but the light was kind of shining all like, like flashlights. There was a lot of artifact in the light. So I needed a better diffuser and I tried foam and I tried like overhead lighting diffusers and all kinds of things, but nothing really worked out as good as these freaking ping pong balls. So anyway, I just wanted to give you uh, that quick tip and uh, thanks for watching.